most time consuming things to do within Black Ops 3 is going for challenges, whether that be dark matter, zombies challenges, whatever it may be, but I think it's no surprise that the biggest challenge of them all is completing all of them. And that's something that a lot of people have attempted, not near as many people in the general public have completed, and when you look at the grand scheme of things, it's a very small percentage of people that have, even within the two years that Black Ops 3 is now approaching of its lifespan. But that said, for people that have been grinding this out for quite some time, one thing that you might not notice, and I'm very hopeful will be coming back for this reason, is that right now, getting 100%, if you have not done so already, in completion for Black Ops 3, is actually impossible. Right now, as it stands, to get the 100% completion challenges that you need for Black Ops 3 to be that overarching completionist, that's something that, as it stands, there's nothing that you can do to change the fact that one of these challenges actually has missing components. That being the gun game challenges. Now, for those of you guys that do recall, gun game was taken out quite some time ago to implement these featured playlists. And that's something that is really kind of a curious situation because it took out the party games, it took out all the extra game modes that we had outside of the standard core and hardcore modes. Now, of course, we still do have those featured playlists, which is kind of cool to get double crypto keys here and there, double XP in some playlists, all that good stuff, but when it really comes down to it, those game modes have been missing for quite some time. And there's one thing that really, once again, piqued my interest with this, simply because it might be coming back, but it might also not be. My man Tim ended up tweeting me a week ago, and he mentioned his observation to me, which kind of has me hopeful for what we could end up seeing for the potential return of gun game. Now, he ended up saying, I've noticed ever since the days of summer, Black Ops 3's featured playlists have been different game modes. The only two that's left are TDM and Free For All. Now, as of, of course, recording this and a few days after seeing this, his prediction of Free For All came true because that's what we have right now as the featured playlist with double crypto keys active. So that leaves us just Team Deathmatch for the featured playlist. Now afterwards, unless they restart that cycle, that loop over again, we've then exhausted every single game mode that we've seen within Black Ops 3 thus far, which potentially could end up and finish off these featured playlists and return our standard other game modes back into the realm of possibilities and possible play. Now of course, that's something that is not confirmed, but when you think about it, it does make logical sense. While from a design and developmental standpoint, it is totally possible that we could have just added a fourth column in there for a featured playlist plus the party game modes that we had, but it's possible that to save any certain mode from getting more attention than others in terms of even player distribution, that they might have just decided to scrap it all entirely and keep that three-tiered system out of the find match. Of course, that's all speculation though, but maybe it points to, once again, this returning after these are finished. But regardless, it doesn't change the immediate fact that as of right now, it's impossible to get 100% completion. And I'm personally very hopeful that this does in fact change back to giving us gun game and the ability to complete these other game mode challenges that are right now at the moment absent from the playable aspects of Black Ops 3. Now, some people this might not bother, some people may infuriate. I guess it really all comes down to if you guys are going for 100% challenges and based off of that, if you put the time into it, I'd probably put money on the fact that this really does upset some people that have done that. But if you're like me and you're nowhere near 100% completion, it might not seem like the biggest deal to you, but when you're that close to completing the biggest challenge in a game, it is of course incredibly frustrating. But that said, I wanted to open a discussion here on this because it's something that caught my attention after a bunch of different posts that I saw both on, once again, Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, all kinds of different places where this seemingly is something that's People were okay with, I guess, at the very beginning, but once this started becoming a gradual thing now for months at this point, I can totally understand where it's starting to become a very big agitator. So that said, I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this? Do you care at all? Do you think it's absolute garbage that there's no ability to complete 100% if you put that much time into it? Are you hopeful that it will be coming back? Whatever it may be, let me know down there in the comment section down below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay updated with everything we have here regarding Black Ops 3 and Call of Duty World War 2. We're going to be killing it with the content coming up here, so if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.